about something else that you want to think about. You're all um, either voting age or or uh, very close to voting age. And as uh, as Mr. McFadden can tell you, politicians listen to the when, when they hear see the groundswell of people that are in support of an idea, they listen to that. And sometimes, unfortunately, no matter how reasonable or good of an idea you may have, sometimes they don't listen until they hear it from the people, until people are telling them that, you know, what foreign donations is important. We can save lives, you know. Um, next time a politician knocks on your door and they're looking for your vote, say, well, what are you doing about organ donation? Do you think we should have a retrieval system in Charlottetown? And you'd be amazed. You may not think that you have much of a voice, but you really do. And uh, the more that you can work within your school to, uh, to, to talk to each other um, and, and get that message out there, uh, the better things will be. We still have a, uh, we have a couple minutes. Does anybody have any questions about organ donation? You no, know, we didn't really talk about some of the, the details, really, how it's done. Uh, or what happens, but just you know, in a nutshell, basically, um, when someone when somebody passes away, um, they, uh, they they basically just you can take a liver or a kidney or a heart or a lung, um, you know, from the person who passes away, and they they can give it to uh, the person who needs it, and it's, you know, it's almost as simple as that. So, question here. Um, in case I miss any, George, you'll, you'll help me out there, but uh, livers, kidneys, uh, heart, lungs, tissue donation, um, people donate their corneas, and uh, people who have lost their, their sight vision again, and bone marrow, yeah. Yeah. What if you don't have healthy organs? Yeah, like what if you're a small brain? Or like yeah. what if um, it's a good question. All, when, yeah. Whenever somebody passes away, when the retrieval team is there uh, getting the organs, there's a number of tests that are done on your organs to make sure that they're healthy, to make sure that they're not cancerous themselves. Um, organs, uh, they're, take, they're taking organs from people as old as 92. So you know, there's a lot of things that you think your body may break it down, it's not working that well. well this 92 year old liver was still working fine and saved some of your life, so. What else? Is yep. there any oh, sorry, right here. Well, I like the first part of your question. The last part, it's a really good point. Um, are the dollars there? And that's a great question. Um, you have to look at it from a cost benefit analysis, really. Uh, People on dialysis. How many people here know someone who's on diabetes, or who has sorry has diabetes? Well, a lot of diabetics end up on uh, on dialysis. That can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to keep people on dialysis. So if you look at the fact, well, what would it cost to set up an organ retrieval system and be able to be able to take the kidneys from people who want to donate, people that are that. Uh, have passed away and give them to people who need them. Um, it would be you'd be saving money. Um, but it's a, it's a great question. Anyone else? Yeah. Um, is there any organ you can donate without having to be dead? Yeah, that's an excellent question. Um, kidneys. We already mentioned your, your younger brother donated one of her kidneys to her. Um, so that's great because then you start with two kidneys, so you can donate one and. And, and still lead a, lead a very healthy life um, with How one kidney. How do you feel about like, saying, do you just go to the hospital and be like, I don't want to donate a kidney, is there anybody that's... Uh, okay. Right now, especially in the Americans, they only really will allow donations between family members or extremely close friends. Um, it's a bit of an ethical question, I guess. Some people think that if you would allow Donations, you know, if you just decide you're the blue and you wanted to donate to me, well, you know, maybe there's some underlying reason that's not so ethical that you're doing. You know, maybe I'm paying you somehow. I guess you're not risking, right? So it, it's been an ethical question all along, but I think the medical community is moving towards uh, more, they call them stranger donations, where somebody just, you know, decides why two kidneys 
somebody out there needs more money and I want to enable them. And that's happening more and more. But it's again, it's another thing that needs to be talked about and, uh, uh, and more of a gun. The other, with your liver, uh, the liver has a, uh, has a remarkable ability to regenerate. You see, um, even people who have had uh, alcohol problems for a long time and destroyed a lot of their liver for, um, through alcohol abuse, when they become dry and their, their liver has a remarkable ability to become healthy again. Um, so there's live liver donations done as well where they'll take a piece of your liver and donate it to someone else and then your liver will regenerate and grow back to full size and the new liver will grow into a full size in the uh, another person. So. Well, what do you guys think about organizations? Is it, is it a bit of a gruesome topic? Is it, you know, like let's get over here and just call it a chop shop and just like one question. Does anybody feel weird about it? It's, it? And be honest, I mean, it's a, the thing is we're all going to die. And you don't always like to think about it, but um, unless somebody knows something that I don't, we're all going to die sometime. The only way, like I didn't feel comfortable when my uncle passed away. They wanted to take his eyes. Mm -hmm. And that was the only thing my family had like a huge problem with, yeah. just because he had like gorgeous eyes, and that's just something that yeah. And, and, it's, and it's, it's very hard. And had your uncle, it was your uncle, sorry? Yeah. Had, had your uncle let, let you guys know that he wanted to be an organ donor um, prior to that? Or? I don't, I don't, I really don't know. Yeah. Um, but if you're not a donor, they can't, they can't. Well, they can ask the family. Yeah. There's so many issues we can talk all day, and it's great that you're asking really good questions. Um, if you haven't, signed up to be an organ donor, if it's not on your license, it's not on your health care, your family can still donate your organs. Um, the other side of that is, you can say you want to be an organ donor, um, but at that, at that time when your family's uh, in a lot of grief, and if they're approached to see if they want to donate your organs, they can stop it too. So, um, whether that's right or wrong is another issue to think about. A lot of us don't like to, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you have arguments with your parents every day. And when you tell them you want to do something, they tell you you can't. Um, it doesn't really go both that well, so it's another thing to think about. Yeah. Where would you register? Great question. Right now, um, the best thing to do is when you get your driver's license, they, they should ask you to access PEI. And if they don't ask you, tell them you want to be an organ owner. There's a sheet that you, you fill out that I think the last question on it is whether you want to be an organ owner. So check that, yes, and they put a little heart on your license. Um, and when you get your health card, they also, they send you some red stickers that you can put on the back of your health card that say you want to be an organ donor. And after that, the most important thing is to tell your family, your loved ones, and your friends that you want to be, because if something happens, um, the doctors are always you know, looking at your wallet and going through your wallet and looking to see if you want to be an organ donor or not. So. Anybody else? Does anybody, other than uh, this glance, anybody know anybody that uh, has donated an organ or received an organ? Or, yeah? It's a, I, I can tell you from experience, it's a, it's a life-saving, honestly a life-saving thing. Um, something that when you talk to people who have done it or their families have, have done it, um, it's, it's amazingly positive, positive thing. So, Anybody else have any questions? Hey, well, listen, I wanted to thank everybody for coming today. Um, it's, it's great to have Vanessa and your friends uh, involved today carrying the torch. Um, i really like you all, if you would, make sure you talk to your family tonight. Talk to your, uh, after you get your Halloween, uh, out of the way. Uh, talk to your family, talk to your friends, and spread the word, and uh, you're all, you're all going to be voting age real soon. Spread the word to, your, to the politicians too. If you think it's important.